Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well. So yeah, today's video I'm so excited to do because we're going to be reviewing some very popular niche fragrances. We have Killian Love Don't Be Shy, we have Rouge Malachite and more, so I'm quite excited to get into this review. And yeah, since we had sent me a few fragrances to review, so I have the two mole samples here. And basically Sensplit is a company that decants niche fragrances. So if you're anything like me, you probably have a long wish list of fragrances that you really want to try but we all know it's too risky to blind buy a full bottle without testing the fragrance first. So Sensebit gives you the perfect opportunity to test these fragrances before actually having to buy them. So yeah, they have different sizes and they basically have all of the popular niche fragrances on their website. So I would highly recommend checking them out and I will link them in the description box down below. Also, if you're new here, my channel is about everything related to fragrance, fashion and lifestyle. So subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. And I will also link my Instagram down below. So without further ado, let's get started. There are a few hidden gems in this video that I really want to show you guys, but let's start with a really popular one. And this one is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Now I have tested these fragrances a little bit before to really get to know the fragrances, but I'm just gonna refresh my memory and tell you guys what I think about them. So yeah, like I said, this one is Killian Love Don't Be Shy and this one is a really popular fragrance because this is apparently the fragrance that Rihanna wears. So everyone knows this fragrance, everyone knows Rihanna wears this fragrance and yeah. So this one has some Neroli, it has some vanilla, some jasmine, some orange blossom. So it's basically a very sweet floral fragrance. But it's really nice like I feel like if you wear this you're gonna smell good like it's very very crowd pleasing very likable like I'm sure that this is definitely a compliment getter and it's an easy fragrance that most people around you will like um, I wouldn't say it's like the most unique or different fragrance but it's definitely very likable it just smells very fun flirty girly and feminine so if you're looking for a nice floral but kind of sweet you know with a little bit of caramel the sugar the neroli and some deeper notes like musk and labdanum you will definitely like this fragrance so definitely try killing love don't be shy so the next fragrance i'm kind of obsessed with and i was so curious to try this fragrance because this fragrance has a note of sand so that just really piqued my interest and I was just so curious to try it out. So I finally got to try it and it's Tabit by Tiziana Terenzi. Oh, guys, this fragrance is something else. Like, to be honest, the first time I sprayed it, it didn't wow me, like, immediately. Like, it was something that kind of started growing on me. So, in the beginning, like, the first few split seconds, it almost reminds me of Narcisa Rodriguez for her. It really has that kind of a vibe. You know, this fragrance has some peach, it has some coconut, it also has sand, like I said. It also has musk and amber and some green and woody notes. So it's a very, very interesting fragrance. You know, it's different, but it's not too different. And I've just really started appreciating this fragrance so much. Like it really smells to me almost like a boss fragrance, like a boss lady, definitely very rich and opulent but it's also like light and fruity at the same time. Like it has this kind of like a boss um, woman vibe, but then it also has like this sweet girly vibe in it as well. And it's the coolest thing, like you'd never think you'd be able to smell the note of sand, but it's really like the sand gives it like this grainy texture. So it's not like a completely like smooth fragrance. It has almost like this grainy texture, which I think just makes it so unique. But yeah, like I said, it's definitely different, but it's not too different that no one around you will like it. Like it's very likable and it's definitely a compliment getter. I also showed this to one of my friends. I showed her all of like the samples that I got and this one was also her favorite. And it's just a really nice fragrance. Like I feel like all ages can wear it. It does lean maybe a little bit more mature. The fragrance is almost like comforting and cozy, but it also has like that like energetic side to it in a way. It's just really interesting and I would highly recommend you guys try this fragrance out and also give it time to grow on you because like I said, the first time I tried it, it wasn't like wowing me right off the bat, but now it's really one of my favorite fragrances and I think I definitely need to get a full bottle of this fragrance. So I would 
definitely recommend trying Tabit by Tiziana Terenzi. Okay, so the next fragrance is like a really popular fragrance right now and it's Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. Rouge Malachite, Rouge Malachite, I'm not exactly sure. You can let me know in the comments below. But this fragrance, what intrigued me about this one is a lot of people refer to it as like a niche alien, which obviously just sounded so amazing to me because I love alien and I was curious to try like a niche version of alien. So let's try it. So immediately, because I've tried it before and I have to say like there is a hint of alien, but it's only in the background for me. Like it's not alien enough for me to call it a niche alien. That is just my opinion. To me, it leans extremely floral. It does share the same notes of amber and jasmine with Alien, but to me, this is like a very tuberose heavy. Like it has tuberose, it has pepper, then it has the jasmine and amber, but it's very like floral heavy. And I also get the ylang ylang in this fragrance, but it's mostly like tuberose, tuberose in this fragrance for me. Like tuberose, ylang ylang, and then like in the back, I get like the jasmine and so on. But this one doesn't have like that deep, dark, mysterious vibe that Alien used to have. I know the new reformulation of Alien is a lot lighter, or in my opinion, that's just how I experience the new Alien. It's more lighter and more soapy. Um, but I know like the original Alien used to have like a very dark, deep, sensual, mysterious kind of a vibe to it. And this fragrance does not have that. This fragrance is like very floral. It's very creamy. It's very sweet. It's like a very dense floral fragrance and it also has like a kind of a sunscreen vibe in it as well it is a beautiful fragrance but i wouldn't buy it like if your only reason for buying it is because you think it's going to smell like alien then i wouldn't get it because it just doesn't have the same vibe it might share a few similar notes to alien but it doesn't have that same deep dark sensual like vibe to it this one is very feminine very creamy very smooth very tuberose so yeah if you're a fan of tuberose fragrances if you like a very creamy floral fragrance you know with the jasmine and the amber and so on definitely try this fragrance so the next fragrance is also a really awesome fragrance and this one is initia atomic rose ah oh, i love this fragrance oh my goodness so I'm going to be honest with you guys, this fragrance sits right in the middle of Delina and Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Mali. It is so similar. It has that same like Turkish rose. It's just very similar to Delina and Delina Exclusive to me, but it also has like vanilla and amber, so which makes it lean a little bit more to the exclusive. But then it has to have like the rose, the bergamot and pepper, which to me gives it like that crispness that the original Delina has. So. Basically, if you like Delina, and if you like Delina Exclusive, you will definitely like Initia Atomic Rose. Yeah, it's just like a very crispy rose with some smoothness, with vanilla. It's really, really nice. I really love this one. Yeah, if you're a fan of rose, if you like rose fragrances, you want something that's maybe not as sweet and creamy as Selena Exclusive, but not as crisp and tart as Selena, you want something right in the middle, then Anisha Atomic Rose is definitely going to be for you. It's sexy, it's feminine, it's womanly, it's just incredible. And if you're a fan of rose, you're going to love this fragrance. So the next fragrance is from the house of Zhezhov, and this one is Italica. I love the bottle of this fragrance, it's really pretty. Woo, okay guys, this one, it's like a very like potent almond kind of like tonic fragrance. This fragrance literally has a note of milk, it has almond, it has toffee. So as you can imagine, it's quite gourmand, but it's not too gourmand. Um, yeah, it basically smells like almond essence in a way, but like in a cookie kind of a way, like a warm cookie. Like, I don't know, it just reminds me of that. And yeah, then it also has saffron, vanilla and musk and sandalwood. So if you like milk and cookies, if you like that vibe and you want something warm and cozy, you will definitely love this fragrance. And it's very sweet, so just keep that in mind. If you don't like too sweet fragrances, like you won't like this one. But if you like sweet fragrances, if you want something cozy and warm for fall, you're going to love this fragrance so i would definitely recommend trying italica by zhezhov so the next one is a super interesting fragrance and this one is from mental and it's mukalat so guys this fragrance is just one of a kind it's so so different Woo, like this is this is not going to be for everyone like i'm not gonna lie this is not going to be for everyone 
but to me something about it is really special because for some reason it reminds me of my childhood i don't know if it reminds me of those like scented lip glosses you had when you were a child but it just reminds me of you know like a scented lip balm that's like strawberry flavor that synthetic strawberry it definitely has that vibe it's kind of like plasticky in a way and it almost gives me a little bit of a banana, like synthetic banana kind of a vibe as well. And almost a little bit bubblegummy too. So it's like a very light-hearted, fun fragrance. Like I said, this is not going to be for everyone. I would definitely recommend trying this fragrance before you buy it because it's definitely not a safe blind buy. But to me, because it reminds me of my childhood, it just feels really special and it's different. Like you're not going to find another fragrance like this. So if you like the scent of like scented lip balm that's kind of like a fake strawberry if you actually like that scent then you'll definitely love this fragrance i would have to warn you guys like the liquid if you can see here it's pink so i wouldn't recommend spraying this on your clothes because it might stain your clothes pink but i don't know the scent something about it it makes me happy it makes me think of summer it makes me think of fun times being fun being girly like it's just really nice like I feel like this would go so well with like an all pink outfit or something like that it's just very fun and girly and playful it does however have like the slightest vibe of like a room spray or room freshener or something like that but overall you're gonna get like this really like strawberry strong strawberry note you know but very like in a synthetic plasticky way so it's just very different and unique so if that sounds interesting to you I would definitely recommend trying out Mucalat by Montal. So the next fragrance is also from the house of Zhezhov and this one is Zhezhov Lira. So guys, this fragrance is very, very gourmand. So to my gourmand lovers out there, you guys are gonna love this fragrance. Woo, like guys, this is 100% a lemon muffin or like a lemon cupcake. It literally reminds me like of a cupcake with those lemon zest shavings on the top like that's exactly what this fragrance smells like it's very citrusy especially in the opening because it has blood orange and bergamot but then it also has caramel and vanilla and cinnamon so it gives it like this gourmand warm spicy kind of a vibe as well and then it also has woody notes and so on but mostly when you're going to smell this fragrance it's literally going to smell like an actual cupcake like this fragrance leans so gourmand to me that it smells more like something that you'll find in your kitchen than an actual perfume but you know some people like smelling super edible so if you want to smell very much like a cupcake then you will definitely like this fragrance yeah, I think the zestiness and the citrusiness just gives it like a fun touch instead of just being like heavy, uh, just like gourmand, vanilla, caramel. Um, so it does give it that lightness, but it definitely just reminds me of a lemon cupcake. This fragrance is definitely sweet, but it still remains unisex and it also has lavender and sandalwood and so on. So it's just very like well balanced and I think it's just a very interesting fragrance. If you want to smell like a walking cupcake, you want to smell super delicious and yummy, then definitely try Lyra by Zhezhov. So that wraps up this review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I will also link my Instagram down below and then just once again thank you so much to Sensplit for sending me these samples and also for sponsoring this video like I said I would highly recommend checking them out if you're interested in trying niche fragrances designer fragrances we can easily test in the store but with niche fragrances it's a little bit different so having a company like Sensplit is awesome because there you can find the most popular niche fragrances and test them out before you buy it so you don't waste money so yeah I will link Sensplit down below I will also link my instagram down below and yeah like i said if you like videos about fragrance fashion and lifestyle please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys